Hello, yeah, <coughs> little guy. Oh, Harry, ask her. What's that? Oh, you can't speak yet, huh? Fuck you, Dad. Well, that's okay. You're old enough to play VR. Um, you wanna to play VR? <laughs> you wanna play Among the Sweep? <laughs> you first play some VR? <coughs> yeah, okay. Come with me. I'll show you on the edges, sketch. <laughs> Okay, first thing you've got to do is go to the wing in the description. Okay, now hold it. Open it up. Copy the content of the photo. Well. This is a party, Sam. How do I delete it? Okay, Go ahead to the main game directory. Paste the content in there. Okay. Next step. Drag the game EXP over on the white comparators. Be your patcher. Okay, let the patcher work. Okay, you're ready to play. Get your VR headset, little guy. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is you're real tall, kinda like a grown up. Way above your little body. Well, that's not ideal. So go ahead and open up the OVR Advanced Settings. If you watch the previous videos here, you will know how it operates. So go ahead. Open that up. Alright. And there's your camera controls. Forward, back, left, right, up and down. Now everybody's natural height and place space area is different, so your settings and my settings might be different, but this is what works for me. Okay, so all we really have to do is adjust the height here. Whee! So we're not like a big old grown up, but a wicker baby. Okay, that's so we gotta adjust it, make it go down. Okay, once you got it all set up, you're ready to play Among the Sweep if we are. Okay, see y'all in game. The Orphite Game. Did you finish your drink already? Oh, careful! It might break. <laughs> now it'll only be a minute. Mommy just has to make sure that the cake is perfect. Let's see. There and... There. Perfect. Oh, look at you. You're so adorable in your tiny footed pajamas. Happy birthday, sweetie. Wow, two years today. <laughs> Oops. I think I know a little someone who's ready for some cake. Chugga 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 choo choo. <laughs> Here it comes through the tunnel. Choo choo. <gasps> uh, I'll be mm, right back. Oh. 
Hey, you. <gasps> Look what I found. I wonder what it is. Why don't we go upstairs and find out? Oh, my. <laughs> How much cake did you have? What's up, Leo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lemon Dad talking here. Come to your lab with Daigo and glorify games. How are we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? <sighs> oh, I'm alright. You better today, are you? <laughs> yeah. Didn't get out the wrong side of the bed? Just a hand, man. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so today, Ed, we are looking at Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition in VR using Rikaparta's Unity VR Patcher. Oh, cool. Yeah, so if you've been following along for the past few weeks, you will have seen that we have been attempting to get quite a few Unity titles into VR. This is in response to Prey Dog's Unreal Injector mod coming out, and I kind of feel like Unity deserves some love too. Uh, the, there was some attempts in the past to get Unity titles into VR, and from what I understand, although there are different iterations of the Unity engine, they all seem to be malleable enough to get into VR in some form or another now. Here we are. <laughs> now let's see what's inside. Maybe it's a new toy. Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, sweetie. Be a dear and play for a bit. Mommy will be right back. Anticipation is really, really high for Prey Dogs Universal Unreal Injector. Really, really high, myself included. But let's not forget some of these unsung heroes that tried to get Unity into VR in the past. Like we've got Rikaparta here, who I'm sure many of you know, but if you don't, he has done many modifications for Unity titles already. Uh, he's got Prey for the Gods, Firewatch, From Bone Champ. <laughs> he's got a ton of them. A ton of them. Shipbreaker. Yeah, really, really cool. But way back in the day, well, back in 2020, <laughs> he came up with like a universal Unity patcher. Now, to say universal is not exactly accurate. It's for Unity 5 titles. And even then, it varies from title to title. Now, we showcase the better implementations, I would say. Well, we've had Lust for Beyond VR already. That was with Rise patch. And there's also another patch out there called the VR Gin template. Now, they seem to be geared at the same Unity family in terms of VR Gin is also for Unity 5. Now, strangely what I found is if a title doesn't boot with VR Gin, it will boot with Rise. And if it doesn't boot with Rise, it will boot with VR Gin. It's bizarre. <laughs> but yeah. Now, don't go rushing out and buying all these Unity titles. They don't all work, guys. Um, I have tested maybe a hundred or so Unity titles, and so far I've gotten maybe only 10 to boot. And of those 10, only a handful, I would say, are bearable in VR. Not a single one is 100%. <laughs> now, they do come pretty close. Uh, the ones I showcase are like, I would say 80% there in terms of a VR modification. Just needs a little bit more of a push, and you could have a VR version of these games. So now, yeah. We're back to Among the Sleep, Enhanced Edition. Unity title, we've got it up and running with Rikaparta's Patcher. Now, with Rise Patcher, there, more often than not, there will be an issue with UI, where you will not be able to see menus and UI prompts, that kind of thing. Now, luckily, with this title, that doesn't seem to be the case. You have in-game UI, you have in-game messages and tutorials, they all show up in the headset. The main menu does not. So you'll need to navigate that using the desktop viewer in Steam viewer. And also I found when changing stages or changing levels, the uh, camera will reset. So you'll need to readjust that again with the OVR advanced settings. Now, if you don't know what OVR advanced settings is, take a look at the Hellblade or Lust From Beyond videos that we've done previously. We go over that. And Cartoon Carl will have a brief tutorial at the beginning of this video, just going over how it works. But basically with Rise Patch, you are a camera within the game. Now, this camera is not attached to anything, so using OVR advanced settings you're able to manipulate the camera to get it where you want it to be. So that's how we get around that. Okay man, cool. So what's this game all about? Oh, well, Ed, on the surface, okay, it kind of seems like this cutesy little walking simulator, baby sim. <laughs> it's anything but. It might start out that way, but it quickly takes a turn. This is not so much a game as much as it is art, okay? The fuck you babbling on about? All right, well, let me explain. Okay, so at the beginning of the game, you see that you're a two-year-old child, okay? You're non-verbal. All right, so what you discover throughout the game is how does a child of that age process trauma? You know, how do they communicate it? How do they 
gain an understanding or reinterpret it in their own way. Hey, you found me. My name is Teddy. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's your name? Not much of a talker yet, eh? Let's play a game. I know. I'll hide the pink elephant while you're not looking. Come here. Turn around and cover your eyes. There. You can look now. Okay, so this little baby here has gone through some traumatic events, some child abuse, and throughout the game here you see manifestations of it within the child's own imagination as the child tries to process what's going on in the world around them and kind of make sense of the trauma and navigate the world in their own little way. Still cold. Now you've got this little talking teddy bear companion who basically acts as your game guide and that's great and it's fantastic but yeah this is one of those games that's going to stay with you it'll stay in your psyche it'll make you think it'll make you wonder and for that i applaud it it's more art than game and i love it for that oh okay super warm yeah so what we're playing is the enhanced edition now there was a previous version of it but it got a graphical facelift basically that's all that happened <laughs> Okay, maybe tweaking the gameplay ever so slightly. The original version and the enhanced edition are more or less the same, just for little graphical facelifts here and there. That's it. Story-wise, it's identical. <laughs> you found it! Now, I was pleasantly surprised to find the Wood Rise patch. I was able to get this to boot into VR, and it is very, very playable. Wow! Is that a music box? Does it work? But as I said before, some button prompts are missing, so you do have to kind of navigate your way around where a button press is, and that can take a few attempts. Now, to get around that, you can use the desktop viewer within Steam VR to see the prompts. So that is one way to do it. Another is that the camera resets at every stage, so you will need to readjust your camera offsets in OVR advanced settings. Other than that, cutscenes, gameplay, pretty much everything else just works in VR. So when I say I'm looking at games that are like that's a nice melody. 80, 85 percent there already in terms of a VR version. This will be one of them. So yeah, there's not too much more I can say about the game. It's more something you would have to experience. It's like a journey you go on as this two-year-old child, processing trauma, getting through it. Try hitting those pins with the bowling ball. You got your bear. That's your little, how would you say, like your little security blanket guiding you through on this fantastical quest to find your mother, which is ultimately just how a child processes trauma and gets through What's it. What's this? Very intense, very emotionally charged when you reach the end. Yeah. Five thirsty animals upon a dry, dry hill. We could use a drink, they sang and started to drill. Unless we reach water with our newly dug well, I think we'll have to bid each other fare thee well. You will have gone on a journey. <laughs> Okay guys, so yeah, I guess we're gonna leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe if, oh. if there's anything you'd like to add, any comments, any queries, any critiques, put them down below. Does it run? How do you start it? If there are any games you'd like us to look at VRifying in the future, please do let us know. We'll get back to you possibly. And uh yeah, VRFI games out. Round and round and round. Yeah, VRFI games. Out of diapers. Hey, pick me up and carry me on your back. I want to show you something. Son, you're playing this scary ass game. You're one brave baby, man. One brave baby. <laughs> we need some place very dark. How about your closet?
It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. Good. This will do nicely. I hope there are no monsters in here. If you ever feel scared in a dark place like this, you can hug me tightly. You might feel a little bit safer. doing in the closet? Oh, are you playing with your new friend? Hello, Mr. Bear. Nice to meet you. How are you today? <laughs> You've got to stop hiding from Mommy. I hope you had a good birthday, hon. <sighs> Mommy would be very sad if you didn't. And now it's time for bed. If you go to sleep now, you can wake up early tomorrow and play with your friend all day. <sighs> Every little boy and girl are sleeping now all over the world. And they're waiting just for you. We shouldn't keep them. Good night, hon. Sweet dreams. <laughs>
thank you. <coughs> Something's not right. We need to find you, your mother.
It's her. Hey. Hello? Look at Mommy's necklace. Can you see our reflection? It's you and me. <laughs> it used to belong to your grandma. I guess she can't hear us. And she seems so distant. Maybe it's more like a memory of her? Are you all right? Whoa, what is this place? Playhouse? What's that doing here? Is it locked? I might be able to open it from the inside if you help me up. Whoa, look at this place. Listen, there it is again. It sounds like it's coming from behind this door. There must be a way to open it. It seems like these are connected somehow. Maybe it requires some sort of key. Is there anything we can use? Yeah. <laughs> 